So you see this master crossbow, right? This is the weapon I got from a rare spawn and it's got insane stats. 4,862 damage with 50% crit hit damage um, on the headshots, right? This thing for me is insane. Same stats. But a lot of people say it's rubbish because of the uh, crossbow bolt drop. Can you see that bolt drop? Looks, um, it's pretty terrible, right? I don't think so. So if you guys want to see the loadout of this, it's uh, pretty simple. All I've done is I'm maxing damage and maxing critical hits and everything I can do. I'm using the phaser cut in order to get the rush stacks up. So I'm utilizing rush for more damage. 
And then um, I'm using the transformer with a deathless. I've been talking about this quite a lot in my other videos. I believe this is a really strong combination to have a nice pool of um, shield or health, not health, but you know, shield, um, because obviously uh, you can use a, um, a shotgun such as this one to get your health back. You are fairly weak if you get hit by um, AOE damage and like uh, crazy damage and stuff. But uh, this is not the point of this build. This build is purely about a massive amount of damage. So uh, on the broad tree, all I've gone for is personal space plus um, three for the 36% damage because we are going to be close with this crossbow. And then this is the main tree that you're going to be using. It's the Miscler Assault tree. We're going to try and put everything we possibly can into reloading speed, into um, critical hit damage. Uh, we're going to try and reduce the cooldown of our action skill because we want to be using ties that bind with also stillness of um, mind. So we've got lots of crowd control because you need to take a bit of time to aim our shot up because we've got one shot uh, to do it. It's a one shot kill um, build this. So we want to make sure that we hit people so we don't lock everybody in place. Um, I've gone down into Violent Tapestry just for the rush stacks. So we get extra rush stacks when we apply status effects. Um, and then I've missed out on Ascendant. From Rest, I could go into From Rest. I'll show you where I can move from um, that in a minute. Um, Wrath and Laid Bear, these two skills are extremely crucial to this build because obviously Laid Bear, we're doing our action still a lot. So we want a plus 25% damage on everything we do. And with Wrath, we've got 20% uh, gun damage and a further 20% on action skill use. So this is always going to be up because obviously we're face grasping and then we're killing people. So there's always going to be like a 40% bonus on damage there. The Remnant is a really, really good build this uh, for this build because um, every time you kill someone, you're going to hit them for so much damage. You're going to do so much over damage, overkill damage. So you want to stack Remnant out. And then obviously Avatar for the extra bonus rush stacks because obviously rush is going to increase our gun damage, um, which is in with the uh, phase zerker. So if you go back to the phase zerker, you can see you get 3% uh, weapon damage for every rush stack. We have 25, so it's just 75% um, damage on weapon damage, which is super crucial. So um, yeah, the extra 10 really help on a pushing out the action skills. So uh, you can obviously um, phase grass twice with ties that bind and then obviously uh, the extra bonus damage. So finally on to Fist of Element. This tree is a bit of a mess really. All I need to do is get enough points that hit ties a bind. Um, Dread is pretty good as well because it increases gun damage for 15%, um, which is super, super um, amazing. And um, the rest of them, I mean, we've gone into infusion just to do a little bit of um, fire damage. I mean, we're doing so much um, weapon damage that eight percent is actually quite big so you could increase that a little bit but uh, i find that just the one in there is fine the steady hands i don't feel that we need any of this actually because um the handling is a one shot bolt uh crossbow and the accuracy is already 95 percent, so that's probably not needed i've gone for five and um anima for the, uh, the status duration and the action skill effect damage, which is actually quite good for obviously uh, ties that bind, and then tempest for further elemental damage. So it this tree really is just to get down to ties that bind. You could probably play around with this. You could probably even lose the indiscriminate um, as well for the uh, the ricochet bullets because to be honest, everything just dies straight off, and you could probably pump that into um, into here. Not that I'm using. Um, uh, health or regen but just to get the corrosive damage it might give you a bit of flexibility when shooting armor targets anyway that's it guys have fun don't forget um this is a bit of a glass cannon build and you may struggle if you don't have a high health pool i'm also using it's piss by the way this grenade here because it will extinguish status effects on allies if you hit an enemy so it's a really good um grenade that to kind of work in this sort of uh three because the main thing that kills me is um is return damage or splash damage or when I shoot barrels next to me by accident and then uh, I get a damage over time that manages to finish me off. Um, that's it guys, have fun and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Have a beautiful day. Take it easy guys. Fragman out.